for the snitches on the block, throwing salt in the game, by working with the cops, cops, cops. Sassy Princess for me. I am back once again, guys, with another video. And you month of August, I will be doing special videos on Tuesday and Thursday. So please turn my post notification on. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. And video, guys, I am back again with another story time. And I noticed that you guys really, really like the story times. And I hear I am here to do another one for you. So this story time is a little bit intense and it's a little bit, you know, crazy. But this story time, guys, is going to be about me being thrown in the fountain. Like, you, you not you wasn't throwing no fountain, like you no, know, you weren't throwing no fountain. But for real, guys, I was thrown in a fountain at Indiana State University. When I was a freshman, and basically this is how this story went. So, as we were like, I guess in my room, and you know, one of them was like, you want, you know, hey, let's go and get some food, and then everybody agreed, like, okay, come on, let's go get some food, right? And I'm like, okay, cool, you know, my fat self <laughs> really wanted some food, and they was, you know, plotting in their little heads. Talking about, oh, okay, we're gonna, we gonna get her, we're gonna prank her, we're gonna do this and that, or whatever. And it was storming, and we were trying to get some food like around one o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. And it's this little place there called the Commons, and we were gonna get some um, food from the cupboard. It's like a little grocery store, right? So, little do I know that while we're leaving, it's storming outside, and mind you. The commons is closed. The commons is closed. We couldn't get in or whatever. So then, you no, know, my friends, we stopped at the fountain. And so yeah, guys, back to what I was saying. So yeah, all of my flesh on my left foot was gone, and like I literally freaked out. I panicked. Like I didn't understand what the heck was going on. All I know is my flesh was gone off my foot completely. And yeah, you're probably like, are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. It was gone, guys. And look, why is we at the fountain? And my friend was like, um, we just came here to look at the fountain, get a nice view or whatever, take some pictures. I'm like, first of all, it's storming outside. Second of all, why is y'all trying to take pictures? Y'all could have did this in the daytime or the day before that. Y'all want to take some pictures at 1 o'clock in the morning? That don't make sense. See, here's the deal. Then one of my friends grabbed me from behind, and she threw me in the fountain first, right? Now, mind you, I couldn't see. I couldn't see nothing. And, like, I was literally panicking because I couldn't see. Fountain ward is very, very dirty, guys. Very, very, very dirty. And I couldn't see Jack, so I'm just like, really? Like, are you for real right now? Like, I was upset. And so after I was able to see again, my other stupid friend decided, oh, I'm gonna throw her in there too. So she, but here's where it went wrong. She throws me in there, and when I, I tell, I, when I tell you guys, lightning struck the fountain. My whole right arm was numb. And when she threw me in the fountain, my left foot skin came off. My flesh was gone. I'd be like, oh my gosh, we need to get her to a, a nurse or a hospital or something. She was losing a lot of blood. Yes. I was losing a lot of blood because I, my foot hit the metal part. And it was like something, like a knife poking out or whatever in the fountain. Not only from the lightning getting struck on the top of the fountain and my right arm being numb, but... 
my flesh was also gone too and like it was a, it was like a horror film in the fountain like blood was everywhere guys it was crazy but my roommate decided oh i'm gonna wrap you up and i'm like you the one that caused this too like what you mean you gonna wrap me up and if y'all wonder if they had any consequences kind of sort of you know they they had to stay away from me because you know something could have happened to me and that was the only consequence that they had or whatever but enjoyed this story time please turn your post notifications on so you do not miss another video like this one also subscribe down below like this video share it with your friends and if you guys want to see more special videos from me in the month of august continue to subscribe to my channel i love you guys i love you my sisters my sass family please continue to keep the strive going we are this close to that 1000 family members give it up for yourself sasses i love you guys and if you guys on the sass team you guys are on the right team i love y'all peace